and welcome ladies and gentlemen today to a brand new video for season number five for um, round number 15 for the Singapore Grand Prix and if we don't do well here which usually we don't we'll move swiftly on to round number 16. Now obviously before we do get into this video I want to apologize to all today's viewers and to all of my subscribers today um not for anything bad of course but there's been as you can understand a few issues recently um difficult issues i don't want to go into great content what them issues are like just upsetting issues in regards to family okay um and obviously it's nothing tragic but it's still more annoying, tiring. Um, like, for instance, I've been having, you could say, sleepless nights recently. Um, sometimes up till about 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, or beyond that, um, sometimes. So, yeah, you know, obviously, as you can hopefully understand, you know, these issues, you know, have been affecting me. Um, recently not just this video I think it reflected in my um, two videos or three videos before that as well um, and obviously you know I'm more refreshed now you could say um, I thought I needed a break from YouTube it's still how can you put it like even this morning I had a bit of an issue um, this guy came to the door offering me internet service. I said no, I don't want your internet service basically um, And then basically started harassing me and my family now. I'm the one who pays for internet in my household um, You know, I don't want his internet, you know, because I'm already in a contract with talk talk Now obviously as you can understand like I don't get don't get me wrong talk talk is not a hundred percent but no internet provider. Now, I'm not... I think I, I, I'm going to say his name. His name's Ashley. Okay, this guy called Ashley from Community Fiber. Okay. Um, you know, came around my home, knocked on my door. You know, I didn't want internet. But before they, we, I met him at the shops. Now, at the shops, okay, he seemed quite polite. Then he started texting me and harassing me, you could say. And was really unpleasant. Then when he came to the door, okay, basically was even more unpleasant stood at my doorstep for half an hour harassing me i asked him to leave once or twice i had to phone the police as you can understand just an issue you don't want you know he's meant to be working for a business and he's acting very unprofessional he said he phoned the police i believe he was threatening me trying to say he got a gang okay coming but in the end, no one turned up, no gang turned up, no police turned up. So I don't know what his issue was. Very odd man. Then when my, apparently, when my sister went to the bus stop, okay, with my mother, and he took a photo of them. And then, um, because my mum said he was less earwigging, you could say, um, into a conversation my mother and my sister had. Um, and he heard my mother say my sister's name, Charlotte. And basically, um, as you can understand, basically, um, how can you put it, you know, said, I know your name now, Charlotte, to them. Um, and took a photo of my sister, harassing them, you could say. Now, you know, inappropriate man. Hopefully no more issues. If you do hear me scream, you know why, because some man came through my door. Um... With guns blazing, I guess. But, yeah, no, neither here or there. Um, I do, you know. But, yeah, anyway, that, as you can see, that's just one of the issues I've had this week. Also, my sister's had issue um, with her boyfriend. A little bit, just a bit of malfunctions between them. But that happens in relationships. Neither here or there. Anyway, we are first in the championship going into this round. Race um, 15, round 15. And we're doing a lot better compared to our teammate. And yeah, this championship looking very solid for us. 21 points um, gap between us, Fernando Alonso. So it's looking all good. Well, it's looking all right. I'm not going to say, oh, we've won the championship yet. But I think last race, um, we took a bit of a step towards it. Last race, I think, was a good race. Sorry about how the video turned out. Just lost connection, internet connection. Caused me to have to sort of do two parts. Um, bit stupid, really. 
Um, hopefully we won't have the same problem here today. Um, and yeah, you know, hopefully we'll have a good video, as you can understand. Because obviously that's what I want. I want a good video for you guys. And as I say, I do apologise for any issues. Um, well, for me delaying on this video. Because, you know, realistically, I should be bringing out videos, you know, ha how I set them out. This was meant to come out, I think, like... Um, what day? Is today Friday or Wednesday? Um, Wednesday it is today. So this video was meant to come out yesterday. I know I'm a day late. Um, and that's why I do apologise. Um, because I believe tomorrow's Friday if I'm correct. Um, or is today Thursday? What day is it? Oh, jeez. No, sorry, today is Friday, sorry. So yeah, it meant to be coming out on Wednesday, so I'm two days late, effectively. And just for any of those, you know, as I say, that was wondering why I'm late, it's because of these reasons, just these issues that I'm not even asking for in my own life just keep on happening to me. Really, really stupid. And yeah, anyway, so yeah. I've got a new pair of glasses, by the way, um, so hopefully my vision should be better. Um, well, clearly not. But I'll have, well, when I say I've got a new pair of glasses, I'll be getting a new pair of glasses. I already wear glasses, like, sort of. I sort of wear them only when playing games and stuff, ain't it, if you know what I mean? Um, but the glasses I've got right now aren't really that good, I find. Um, I find them, how can you put it? Not weak, but certainly, um... Just loose, if that makes sense, around the nose. A bit uncomfortable sitting on the nose, sort of thing. But yeah. Nonetheless, let's get into then today's video. So, oh, we're just gonna do usual get practice programs done out of the way um, for today. I believe we've got some new parts on this car this weekend, anyway. So, um, hopefully, they'll help us a little bit, you know, in performance areas. Um, but yeah, you know, otherwise, that's it really, um, you know. So far though, on this lap, doing an okay job. As we enter now this middle sector. Slight heat up there. By the way, um, I'll be getting the new game um, very, very soon. Um, by the way, on F1 2019, um, I've seen some of the um, content that they've got in it. I haven't played it yet. Um, just thought I'd clarify that, by the way. Um, but yeah, as I say, you know, I've seen some of the content they've got in the game. Um, I'm not going to say it looks 100% just yet, you know. I can't, but, you know, it does, I think handling model will be very similar to F1 2018 and F1 2017 and F1 2016. I don't think that will change too much, so I wouldn't be surprised if I'm either better or as good as I was on this game. So, you know, I hope that the handling model um, hasn't changed too much. There will be F2 cars featuring in it. Um, a sort of storyline career mode as well for F for the first season apparently. So we will do that. We'll participate in the entire career mode. Um, then there's some new multiplayer functions on the game as well. Um, you know, also there's a trophy cabinet um, thing this year. So I'm presuming that instead of like, you can just see whether you won the race like that first, second or third thing. That we already have in crew mode. I presume that each tro um, each circuit, if you win the race, you'll get the gold trophy or whatever. You know, you'll get you'll get a trophy for winning the race. I hope the trophies look quite good and authentic. Personally, that's um, a feature that certainly got me excited. Um, then, um, in addition to that, there are also some other features that are coming to the game. You know, it looks really, really immaculate. Put it that way. You know. I really can't wait, personally. Also, the Edson Senna um, cross um, part of the game is coming as well, which I cannot wait for, um, personally. Um, you know, like, you know, I, 
I think, you know, that's going to be cool um, as well. The new Pro Center career mode thing. And that will go on then in addition to that. And, yeah, you know, there's just so many new features. Um, it looks a more in-depth career mode. Um, still looks like they've kept, like, features from F1 2018, like the development tree and all of that. So, you know, I presume that's still going to be there. But, you know... It looks like they've just updated F1 2018. I know, um, sorry, F1 2019. And more on to F1 2018. Um, you know. Like, as I say, the thing about F1 20, um, the, the current Co-Masters F1 games. The only thing that needs proving well, um, is, you know, the... Um, probably the depth of the story mode and the story arc. But right now, more or less, you have to create your own story arc, if that makes sense. For instance, like, there feels like there's no story arc in this game at all. Feels like you can just literally jump in a team, change teams every four races, um, and more or less win every Grand Prix if capable. Um, you know... That's what I'm trying to say, like, whereas, um, with the story arc, you know, like, personally, one, I feel like you should have to earn yourself to the top. Like, for instance, when I started this career mode, as you guys know, I started with Williams, yes, okay, um, I started on 97% difficulty, I haven't really changed it much, actually, um, and as you guys know, I scored points at one or two tracks. I developed that Williams team into actually a race winning team, I would say. Because I did win um, one or two races um, at that Williams team. And, you know, who knows? If I stuck around with that Williams team, I could have won a championship with them. You know. Now, I'm not saying George Russell in real life wouldn't be able to do that um, build a Williams back into that championship winning team we once knew of the past but what I'm trying to say is like right now there's no um, if I if I wanted to I could literally start Williams by race 4 move up to Red Bull by race 2 go back to Williams or McLaren or somewhere by race 3 you know somewhere else or whatever the point is, every four races, I could change team. I could change team at least um, four times throughout the course of a Formula 1 season. Now, you know, if you do the maths, if you um, win four races, you know, have four non-finishes, um, then four podiums, you're well... Oh, um, keep on doing this. Um, sure, I'm not good. We'll probably skip this track anyway if we don't do well in quali, which I have my doubts about. Also, probably the fact... I haven't raced in about um, a week's time, so I'm just getting, once again, a bit back up to speed with things, but as I'm saying, you know, with the current career mode, I'm not saying it's bad, it is a good career mode, it's more enjoyable, and I think I did say this is the best F1 game we have had since, it must be at least, F1 2011, it's the most authentic, okay, F1 game. In terms of detail and in terms of handling model, they've just taken that step up again. As hopefully you can understand. Why is it McLaren trying to overtake me? Like, I'm having. I don't know what I can do here. Apart from back off and not get the. Necessary. Because I need this one. Right, I'm gonna turn it up into Rich. That's where. Sorry Alonso, but you have been a dick to me trying to ruin my lap. So yeah, we'll probably just um, try it once, this one, this circuit. I'm going to try and go for a different setup, by the way, today, in terms of the car. Um, in terms of, could usually uh, try and run a high downfall set, um, setup. I'm actually going to run a lower downfall setup around here today. Alright, so we got green anyway. <laughs> right, we'll just return to um, the track, and then we'll just um, jump straight into qualifying, because I don't really feel like we're having a good feeling around here right now. Um, sorry to say. So we're going to run this setup. 
I'm going to run lower downforce here. A bit unusual, but I don't know. As all the cars are now over the line, your top... Thing is, though, as long as we don't have a bad, bad race, we'll probably just simulate the race, I feel. You know, if we start outside top 10, if we start inside top 10, we will race. Good day today. But last Good season we did it. Your so, yeah. So... First in the championship. How does that feel? Um, how would be ahead of so many talented drivers? That's what you I'm left a say. lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip? No comment. <laughs> um, well, yeah. So. Thanks anyway. Right. So there we go. So that is then that that done and that that done um that done as I was saying and that's the interviews. But as I say, you know, this game did have so many plus points. And I can't wait for F1 2019 to come out. And I have pre-ordered it. I should. Be, I'll be getting a special case. Um, if you. Um, by the way, if you're new to my channel, I do have Facebook, okay? Um, and I do have Twitter. Um, my Facebook name is Julian O'Matney. That's spelled Julian, as in um, A. Well, I A N. Um, J U L I A N. And then O'Matney. Then so that's spelled O P O S T H E M A H O N E Y. Um, I do just have a Ferrari cap on me, um, basically, um, under the Eiffel Tower. Um, but as I was saying, you know, go check me out on Facebook, okay? F add me, follow me, friend list me. I'll happily add you as a friend if you want. I have over 1,496 friends. So if you want to become 1,000, whatever, 497 or something, Welcome you know, please do. Um, obviously, I don't know all of them. <laughs> but um, no one does, I don't think. But... You know, as you can uh, understand, you know, um, right, we may not even get a dry lap today. We'll see. Oh, balls. Ah, I don't think we're going to get a dry lap. Right, we'll go out if we get a dry lap, if. Because the track is meant to be where well, it is going to rain but then we may just get a dry lap we'll see if we don't get a dry lap we're going to sim it we'll see it's raining we're not getting a dry lap i don't think yeah it is raining i'm not even gonna go for it you know no point sorry to say but that's the end of the singapore grand prix already we're not gonna you know I feel like, you know, because we didn't do qualifying, I should make up for the one or two laps. Yeah, go, what do we do? Of our right. I know what to do. If it lands on heads, I'm going to just do a toss of a coin. If it lands on heads, okay, um, we'll race. If it lands on tails, we will um, not race. Um, but any crash, if we have one crash, that's our race over. Okay, so let's... Oh. I'm going to redo it because I didn't toss it correctly. Oh, that time again. Sorry about this. Um, it is tails. So we will sim the race. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this one then. Because I did say if it's heads, we'll race. If it's tails, we will not race this race, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah. We will not be racing in the Singapore Grand Prix. And we'll jump straight into the, the Russian Grand Prix. Um, the only way is up, I guess that's true. Um, we'll see anyway. So let's see where we finished. 12th, so there we go. The but Fernando Alonso takes, takes the, the championship lead. Let's have a look at the championship quickly. So yeah, we're, we're still a long way in the constructors, but we're just four points behind in the championship. But teammate didn't make much on us. Only 10 points overall, or less, or whatever, you know. Um, we came home in 12, so even the game agrees we wouldn't have scored points. So, yeah. That's the end, then, of the Singapore Grand Prix. I know it was short-lived. But, yeah, now we'll get into the Russian Grand Prix, where we do tend to do better. Um, there's just something about this game. This is one thing I would like Cody's to fix. Street circuits for um, people who use the gamepad in F1 2018. I'm sorry, 19. Because, as you know, guys, I don't like to be, um, pessimist. I think they say. That's the word I think it is, pessimist. But, you know, and I like to be optimistic. But, as you can understand, okay, I can't be positive about 
you know, street circuits in this game. Right, Baku. Okay, for whatever reason, the AI are just a field above the player. Okay, when I go online, I'm easily as quick as everyone else around Baku. But when I play offline on um, career mode, I am not as quick for whatever reason around Baku. Now, is it, is it circuit related? I don't think so. Because I can drive Baku. In fact, you saw um, evidence, actually, of this is two weeks ago. Okay. We or a week ago. I did a, um, what you call it, video. Um, my preview to the Baku Grand Prix, um, as you guys should know. Okay. And you saw, for your own eyes, where did I finish in that Grand Prix? I'm sorry. Where, how, not where did I finish in that Grand Prix? What was the lap time I did in that? car in the Toro Rosso. It was faster than last year's um, 2018 but well last it was faster than any of the um, drivers that posted a lap time in the Toro Rosso of last year. So considering it was faster I'm not trying to say oh I am better than the Toro Rosso drivers of course not that's obvious right but the point is okay it just shows what I mean. Now if I did that um, in the career mode, that lap time, I bet you it probably wouldn't even be good enough for the back of a grid. And that's what annoys me. Like, around Baku, the lap times are too fast for the player. I would probably have to turn it down the skill level to 88% to get a realistic comparison or a realistic game. So I can compete, and I don't really want to do that because that's dishonest, you know. Then Monaco, Monaco is a nightmare. It, it was, it was okay on F1, on F1 2016 I could race, on F1 2017, yeah, it was tough. But on F1 2018, it's impossible. In F1 2017, I got a race win, believe it or not, on Monaco. In F1 2018, I haven't picked up, I don't think, one victory around Monaco. And, yeah, you know, that just shows you, like, what I mean. Like, whereas somewhere like here, you know, as you can tell already, okay, I've messed up one game, but look how much more easy flowing, you know, I am. I know it's a more easy flowing circuit, you know, this is a, you know, a complete circuit but the point is also you know when you can do a good lap it's not good enough right anyway second lap then here That was a good lap up to that point. I'm just gonna... Alright, there we go. Good turn and... I reckon I will go faster than Stroll. I don't think I've got enough to go faster than Perez at the moment. Yeah, win faster than Stroll. Just couldn't go as quick as Perez, but we are on the soft tyre. He is on the ultra soft tyre, so therefore there should be a bit of a difference um, between us. You know, half second. Is that 
a bit far back. I don't know. We'll soon see when we do a race run on the um, now, um, well, on the race run tyre, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, we did go faster than Stroll there. Just gonna tweak the aerodynamics, go for four four wings at the end of the day. This circuit okay, usually likes four four wings. Up. So yeah, we're now gonna go for the ultra soft run. This will be our race run. This will give us, a, I'm not gonna say a complete idea of where we stand in the race, but it should give us some sort of idea on how we lay. All right. Let's now go. Let's see how our race run goes. And just look how much straight line speed we've got. We're already, by the way, half a second up on our Delta. So that just shows you. Straight line pace. You know, we're quite good right now. Where we're lacking right now is literally the corners. So, lap two now, on this race run. Should be able to overtake Ericsson here. So Ericsson gets quite nicely out of the way for me. I've done it again, haven't I? In terms of the braking. And you get that sorted out before quality. That will really hamper us in quality. Let's go for this lap. Let's try and get fastest lap here. It's only a lap that puts us inside the top two.
super job so far. We All right, that's good luck. There we go. Happy with that, then from um, today, or from this session at least. Um, we did okay, I guess, um, or very at well. Classification at the end of the session, then. Here so, are top three. obviously, now we'll jump into quali, then we'll do a race, well, the race of the Russian Grand Prix, round number 16, and then we've only, after this, got five races to go, or four races to go, something like that. You know, Japan, USA, Mexico, Brazil, and Abu Dhabi, so five races to go. I'm looking to win this championship by Brazil. If we win the championship by Brazil, I will be relieved. Mexico would be a bit of a push. We'd have to win certainly this Grand Prix, the Grand Prix after this, and the Grand Prix after that, and then probably win Mexico as well. So it's a bit of a push, I think, to do today. Well, Russia, Japan, USA, Mexico, all in one. You know, these four Grand Prix's. But if we can win, certainly here, maybe Japan and USA. Well, certainly here, 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 Japan, USA. I don't mind if we lose in Welcome Mexico. Um, but yeah, you know, we hopefully we'll get there. Um, so, right. So, it is wet conditions right now. So, obviously, we'll just wait a little bit. I'm going to probably wait a good five minutes here yeah, we'll go out now we'll go out in the enters and then we I'm sorry on the wet the then we will probably try potentially at the end on a set of enters um here then obviously last time that it was wet though I did quite well in the wet so I have improved quite massively in the wet um you know personally so right now Vettel done a 144.6 There's no DRS in the wet. So it's all just... Um... Driving. We now head down into turn one. Whoa. That is, um, wet. Um, I guess. Alright, we'll try again. We won't use too many flashbacks, because that would be cheating. We're only allowed to use really flashbacks on the opening lap, because this this first lap, by the way, isn't a timed lap, so I don't really care if we don't or do use flashbacks. As long as we don't use flashbacks on the quality lap, if you understand, then everything's good. I'm going to need 100% concentration on this lap. Because I know without it, we're not going to get pole, let alone have a sniff. on a corner and our lap starts now so it's more or less still flat out through here About five tenths off, so got a bit of time to make up. Uh, 
Oh no! No, I'll complete the lap. We've got enough fuel to do two laps here. Easy. So, probably not going to get pole this lap anyway. Probably blown our chance. Well, sometimes the second lap in these conditions doesn't hurt. Sometimes it can be very much beneficial. Oh, yeah. Right now, we go P14, four seconds off right now. Gonna break a bit later into this first corner. I'm getting as much of a slide. Last time we were about two seconds down here. I'd say we're still about half a tenth down. Yeah, still half a second down on our on the time that Vettel sat. Now this is. So we're looking for Sank in the four second region. We need to improve by it. A slight improvement puts us in sixth. I probably don't have enough fuel to go for another lap, so yeah. I was actually expecting a bit more, actually, in all honesty. Um, you know, in terms of time-wise on that lap. So do we risk it now? Go for a third lap on wet. Or do we gamble and go for enters? I feel like enters could be the right gamble here because it ha it doesn't look too wet. It doesn't look like you know. I feel like how are our wets working? They're nice and warm. I'm going to do an out lap. If we can do a quick in lap, right. If we do a quick out lap, roughly, we should be able to get a feel. And if the Inters start working straight away, I'm going to finish the lap on the Inters. You know what I mean. Makes a bit of sense, that. Because then, it doesn't guarantee we'll do an Inter run. It just means if they work, we'll go for it. We now just sort of ran out of fuel. So, we're limping back to the pits here. Valid time. Oh, oh well. Alright, so we've got easily over enough time to do. Probably got about seven to. in between seven minutes, I would have thought, right now. 
but do we go for a set of enters, risk it, or play it safe? I'm going to try an outlap on the enters. I feel it would be worth taking a gamble, because they do say if you don't take any risks, you know, but then if you take a risk and it fails, then at least you can't say you didn't take any risks. Right, so we're going to go enters. Right now, because I feel that's probably an okay way to go. We've got, we got 5 minutes 44 remaining, so we go now. And we're just going to get a feel on this first lap. This first lap is no guarantee. It's only going to be a feeling out lap to get a feel whether or not the tyres have got enough grip and enough pace to really be a game changer, like, you know, in this wet conditions. Because... I feel like, you know, on like on a track like this, okay, whilst the wet probably would be the safer option, you can't just bank everything on a set of wets. It takes sometimes a bit of a gamble. Um, right now, tires feel fine. No issue, car feels responsive. In fact, oh dear. I was going to say, in fact, it feels very responsive. Probably got the right levels of grip. Just want to. I certainly have a lot more confident in slow speed already, by the way. Just some. Um, you know, I'm gonna go for it. I just feel like this. I don't feel. feel like this will be the game changer. I feel like the, the, the enters are absolutely fine. No problem. Whether or not this will be enough to get pole, I have no idea. Well, I certainly know it's enough to improve. So a little bit of wheel spin, so not a great start to the lap anyway. But, I expect... Wants to like get going. We'll have two attempts like this, by the way. Losing a lot of time in first corner. Was I right? Was I wrong? Can't go back on it now. Right now, just not enough. Certainly, right now, we're in this. First sector, we're one second down on our best, but let's see. It's not all one and lost after a few corners. I think this lap's game over. Alright, so we'll have one more attempt. Probably be our final lap anyway, based on fuel and time remaining. So if it doesn't work this time, we come round. We don't have time to really change strategy. That's the risk to the gamble that we've just taken. But in the middle sector, it's working. I think in the last sector, it's working. So just about high speed, I feel like it's not working. Because as you'll see, right, we're gaining quite a bit of time. And that's where it's working. So, we're looking for about a second game. Right, a lot better this time, off the corner. And we're already two tenths up, by the way. 
on our person PV. Five tenths up, wow. So they're not, so they lost more or less all that time. They're gaining it back. About 10 foot right now. What? You're having a joke, so can't you? Is complete and we're all set for an exciting race tomorrow. Your top three are... I guess we are, because we will come back in the race, I hope. But yeah, P15. So, I honestly think... Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I think if it wasn't me driving in these wet conditions, probably we would have got pole, but... We at times we were at least half a second up, but then we lost half a second, then we gained half a second. So, overall, on that lap, actually, you could say we gained about a second or more in certain sectors, okay? But then we lost also a second or more in certain sectors as well. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe we took Obviously the gamble session, and a bit too fair. risky, but yeah, you know, nonetheless, we'll get into race. There is opportunity, though, from starting outside top 10. What we're going to do, we're going to actually probably do a reverse strategy, run long on the um, ultra soft, and run then late on the um, hyper soft. So, by the time, by realis realistically, we will be in the lead at some point in this race. Hopefully, though, we'll be able to keep the lead at the end of the race. So, that's what we're going to do. Fingers crossed. Okay, it is sunny, which is good. So, right. Today, if we want to catch Alonso in the drivers' championship, so remove stint. We're gonna go ultras, um, then hypers, um, to the end. So um, we'll probably go pit with eight laps. So we'll probably have a five lap, eight lap stint on this ultra soft tire. Five laps on the um, hyper soft tire. So yeah, Alonso sign one two, McLaren one two. Should I say? Then it's our teammate in third. So, yeah. But, yeah, are we the only car starting on this Ultras, I wonder? Let's have a look. Oh, don't want to do that. Um, are we the only car starting on the Ultras? Yes, indeed. So, the only car to go for this strategy. Which will be exciting. So if we can get up into the top 10 on first lap, that is good. Top 5 would be awesome. Yeah. Certainly need to be in the top 10 by lap 2. Certainly would like it to be before lap 2, but yeah, certainly lap 2, need to be in the top 10. Need to be in top 5 by about probably lap 6, and then that's really when our race starts to become difficult. Once we're in the top 5. So 
the tyres are nicely up to heat. So here we go then for the Russian Grand Prix, round number f um, 16, we're starting 15th place, Alonso starting first, he's the one with the golden ticket today, but we need to really um, make gains now on Alonso again, because Alonso is starting to pull out a lead a bit now in the championship, if he wins today's race, he would have a 20 um, nine point lead with five rounds remaining which probably would give him an awesome opportunity all right long run down into turn one so you just want to position yourself somewhere touch the slipstream And what a start already, I told you. Top 10 already, lap 1. That's the start we wanted. And we're already up into 8th. And we can see our teammate already, which is good. My teammate's gone from third to sixth in the space of a lap, by the way. And Alonso's gone from first to fifth. It's even worse for Alonso, but ew. Almost a moment for me. So I don't really have to worry too much about Alonso now. Because Alonso is straight in front of me, basically. Alright, now, right now, what I'm expecting is those in front of us to really just maybe build up a bit of a lead over us. For us, it's just about hanging on, you know, because eventually we will, our tires will come better than those. And, yeah, then it's once our tires are better than those, it's just about gaining. But, yeah, we've had a perfect start here, more or less to this race. As we do fastest third sector. Teammate. There we go. Teammate done. Next is Alonso. We also take fastest lap there, by the way. Not too sure. Three second penalty. We barely gained three seconds. Ah. Oh. Sorry about it. this will probably happen a lot today. 
Because it's really easy to cut the corner here, even by the smallest margin. And it's tempting as well. So the curbs here, you can just ride them. Whatever Red Bull that is, is not pulling away that much. Alright, we're gonna go turn one, I think. Sorry about them two corner cuts. Verstappen doing a brilliant job behind. What a Freaking idiot am I? You're having a joke. Literally, I go from the move on Alonso and Vettel, turn one. There, yeah, that's how it was meant to be. But then Vettel turned in on me. Yeah, but I'm up into second. Feel a bit guilty after that, <laughs> as if I've cheated a little bit. But no, I've driven well so far up to this point. Can't be too hard on myself. Well, Ricardo is leading the race. We're going to try and catch Ricardo now. Five seconds. We will have the better tyres towards the end. Ricardo will have the best tyres now. But then, at the same time, I haven't said that. Also, we should also be able to have a good old go. So, I'll monitor it over the next sector. So, 3 point, um, let's say 5.3. So, we can get that down to 5.1, let's say. That'd be alright. Um, gap behind us. Ah, a little bit. So 5.1, exactly what I said. So the gap is slightly down now. Not the first sector. And the gap behind us is also increasing slightly. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. So let's land lap 7. Copy. Gonna key to lap 8. Target Delta. And Dawn all of a sudden ups his pace as well, I've just noticed. Because he's pulling away quite swiftly from those behind. We're going to take lead of Grand Prix as I think Ricardo's just come in. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the hyper softs. We're leading our teammate by 4.0 seconds. I don't know why our teammate doesn't pit. It'd be a bit of sense there, in my opinion. To pit early, he should have. Because I'm running long, I'm doing a different strategy. Different race, really. All together. Like, you know what I mean? My race is with. Well. 
with myself in a way. At the moment. There's a... I guess maybe it's something to be gained out about the overcut. Right, so now Ricardo's on the ultras, by the way. Which is basically the same tire as I, but he's off of... No! That's annoying. That is really annoying. We were, we were in a rhythm up to that point. And the thing is, he's all about rhythms. Right. That's the only mistake we're going to make in this race, apart from the one we made before. We're not allowed to use any more flashbacks now. Alright, so it needs around 20 seconds to make a pit stop here, by the way. So we're going to monitor now we get to Ricardo. Alright, let's see the gaps. Alright. Let's see first sector. First sector. We've done that three times now, by the way. That first sector. We need around 20, 20 to 21 seconds to come out in the lead. So we're 18.7, so in that first. So let's see how we do in the second. So we've got Van Dorn covered. So it's just about getting Ricardo covered. No. Watch your delta. Make sure you keep it positive as we catch the pack. A new strategy is available on the MFT. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. We Reduce we are going to take the lead of the Grand Prix because we are within the safety car delta window. Here then. Release, release. There you go. We're in now the lead of the... Russian Grand Prix luck has finally changed. Will easily, surely come out. What's going on here? I said, why are we? Is Ricardo Ricardo can't be meeting that Delta? Sorry to say. Let's have a look. Right. His Delta is plus two. He's not even... that. That's impossible. He's no longer at a delta. After what, what you're saying, really, you're from about here... From about here... Now, he's no longer under delta. And... Um, as you'll see... Right, Ricardo comes past... Now. So, we should have been in the lead there. What... Like, still in a bad position. I'd prefer be in my situation than Ricardo's. Because... Yeah. What are you on about oh, the two though? Now, now the Delta's back on, I presume. But I thought we were in Ricardo's Delta, unless we... Something went wrong. Because we were 18 seconds. Takes usually 22 to make a pit stop. Okay. Safety car, you got to half that. So, let's half that. That gives us... At least minimum, you know, 10 to 12 seconds. So something went wrong. We did have a bit of a bad entry, I guess. We lost two seconds there, but that wasn't the gap. I honestly, but neither here or there. Oh well. We're in a good situation anyway.
Alright. So far, though, I will say, we've actually had a good recovery, good first lap. We had, we did make a good move on Bottas. Move on Alonso was average. So, I think I'm going to say it's a 50-50 race so far. Championship update. As things stand, we'll be leading the championship. Full race update. Second place. You're in second place. Ricardo is ahead of you. The gap is less than a second. They're on fresh ultra softs. Van Dorn is behind you. Less than a second separate you. They're on fresh ultra softs. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Five laps till the end. Right, a few more laps. Hopefully safety car coming in this lap or next lap. What happened there? Did I? I'm just gonna make sure I didn't overtake on the safety car because I think that it gave me a penalty. So just in case it did, I'm gonna, you know. Nineteen cars are now remaining, so someone's out of a Grand Prix. I believe it's one of the Alphas. Ricardo got a bad exit. 
We do the fastest lap. Alright, come on. Come on. Nah. Oh. Sorry about that. So Ricardo sort of slowed down a lot. I sort of had a second half moment. Probably make this look more dramatic than it really is. Alright. Cardo's having bad exits. This time should be a breeze. Ricardo, do you want to say a final prayer? That's my question to you, Ricardo. If so, please speak now. DRS has been enabled. DRS is now enabled. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, not Amen. Amen. There. And Ricardo is saying, Christ Almighty, back at me. What? Right, I need to go then. Well, I said that. Three seconds. How do we find three seconds? We have two laps of fuel remaining. Oh, we found a second. Found two seconds, one point seven. Gap to teammate. Repeat that, there's interference. Teammate status. Valtteri is currently P5. We're leading our teammate by three point zero seconds. They're on fresh ultra softs. The time last lap was a one minute thirty two. Good. Have we done enough to win? We do now new fastest middle sector still. Right now we'll get third, I think. <gasps> right now we're not gonna get anyone. <laughs> right, we'll just um instant replay from here, because Yes, cool, go to the end. Did we win? Nice work, he did well today. I think the boss will be happy with Second. that. Second, oh well. So we blew a win through a time penalty. How much did we miss out by? I wonder.
It can't be much. So probably a few attempts. Or less. Well deserved. No, I think I won that. <laughs> but, yeah. So. I'll take a second anyway. And now let's take a look at the driver stand. Zero point one. Championship. Ah. Who was your driver of the Only day? if we I found one ten. So hard and had incredible pace at championship. We do take the lead of the championship once more by two points. And yeah, there we go then, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed this two-part of video, I guess, um, or two races today that we've done, the Singapore Grand Prix and the Russian Grand Prix. I know that we didn't do too the great. We didn't do oh, too bad either. Um, I think we did better in Russia, certainly, you again, really obviously. So, yeah, today. can't What's be too um, disappointed. But, yeah, good. It was all right race overall. Uh, no comment to that. Um, but yeah, well, decent race overall. And anyway. you know, constructors wise, well, obviously, again, we're just really racking up points in constructors, really, and um, as a team, really. Like, of course, um, McLaren did well today, but we did slightly, I think. Well, we, I think we did the exact same, really, as McLaren, because McLaren would have got two more points. We got about three, so we may have extended our lead by a point, but not much. But yeah. There we go then, so that then that achieved. And we'll now negotiate a I new contract. And this will be the final time I negotiate a contract, I guess, in YouTube. You or for my YouTube career. So, you know, we'll go second second, I think. Let's try and get a good contract here. Let's see. They didn't like those terms. Let's try again. Okay, let's go... Let's do that. See if they'll give us that. They aren't coming Ooh, round very close. Pencil. Let's try something so, else. So, if we go first, first, um, they should, in theory, yeah. The broken down, what? And there's nothing more I can do. You're having Luckily, a. We had the team's original offer to fall back on. I so thought we... it was gee, I, I thought it was on the line. That you know, oh well. Don't bother me too much. This is final season of a career mode. So there we go. So right next round will be the Japanese Grand Prix. I'll probably release it on Monday. But then Monday, you know, I may release it over the weekend depending. So we'll see. But yeah, otherwise, you know, that'll be it then, ladies and gents, for today's video. See you all again next time then, ladies and gentlemen, for another br um, brand new video for the Japanese Grand Prix. Round number 16 it will be. Um, tomorrow for all oh, well whenever we release this one um, and I hope to get out much sooner than I did with the well then this one so yeah please like subscribe and share this video um, you know that'd be very much appreciated thank you and see you all next time for the Japanese round number 16 oh no sorry 17 for the 2018 final season of career mode season 5 take it easy